What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and right now we're going to be talking about the top five rejected Madden 18 cover athletes. Coming in at number one is Jay Cutler, bruh. This dude has been a bum for a long time, but he's he's like a rare bum. He's a guy with so much talent that I just don't know what really happened with him, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he really walks around like he just doesn't give an F and a lot of people say that that's one of the major reasons why he wasn't successful, but no matter what, you can always guarantee yourself that this man is always going to throw you the ball. And I don't understand, like, on defense. I, I kind of messed that up. Yeah, like, because that would make sense because he's a quarterback and a wide receiver. No, no. He's throwing it to the defensive back. And they actually were corners that said that before games playing against them. Don't worry about it. Just give him enough time. He's going to throw us the ball. How do you have a reputation like that? And then you're a National Football League quarterback. And from the Broncos to the Bears, he's been the same Jay Cutler. Big arm with a lot of mistakes. So I just don't understand. You know, just thinking about I was like, yo, who's a guy that I would think would just, if he was on the cover, is just like the dumbest thing ever. And Jay Cutler just popped into my mind because it's just something about this guy. And I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's just the fact that he just doesn't want to win or what it is, but the man will throw you an interception with no problem. Like seriously, like if you're open on defense, he's going to get you the ball. And that's a problem to me. You know what I'm saying? So, and now with the Bears trading up to get Trubisky, yo, good luck to all you guys. You Bears are going to be a lot of Bear fans on antidepressants. So that's what we're going to do with Jay Cutler. Coming in at number two right now, you may know this guy, Randy Gregory. He's probably suspended for the entire year. This is a guy with so much talent, but he just has to stay on the weed. No Stephen A. Smith, though. Like, why is it? Let me just ask you something. If you're making millions of dollars, and you like weed. Because I'm not saying like it's heroin, it's like, you know, some craziness, um, whatever whatever these wild savages are into nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Heroin and all these other kind of things that people do, crystal meth, it's weed, bro. You can put weed down, like you don't need to do it. it listen, Ricky Williams left the country to go smoke weed and probably now is still broke. You guys can put the weed down. I understand that you wanna, uh, it's a lot of, um, you know, uh, holistic benefits to it and stuff like that. But your checkbook, bro, it's millions of dollars for a blunt. That doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. You could put, at least if you're gonna do it, like do it in the off season and try to make sure that you could like counteract. I'm pretty sure a lot of these athletes smoke weed because it has so many different things that it helps the, you know, the human body do. And right now it's just not legal. It's against the rules for your sports. And you're, you know, you're getting paid millions of dollars put down the weed he suspended possibly for the whole 2017 2018 season is this guy serious man somebody help this man it's probably too late though he probably broke so nobody want to help him now but coming in at number three al don smith this is the man i don't know if it's weed alcohol i think he was on periscope just lighting it up but this is a man that was driving drunk in like a school zone like he was just up in the morning just driving around doing whatever he's doing you know what i'm saying just like i don't really understand I, again I understand the whole point that we are human and things stress us out and sometimes you gotta release. This guy's a millionaire. Release in your house, bruh. If you wanna drink, nobody's gonna stop you from drinking up a storm in your house. But don't drink and get in your car and not be able to see in front of you and be driving around in school zones, then get arrested and then be with, like, when you get interviewed, your brother's there and then you're like, yeah, the truth is gonna come out. What do you mean, bruh? You almost drove into a tree. What do you mean the truth's gonna come out? I, I don't understand why people say that. I understand that you have money, but that doesn't mean that in certain cases, you're gonna be able to get off and just say whatever you want. What does he mean by the truth's gonna come out? When I watched him say that, I was like, what the F? And then he has the nerve under his own user profile on Periscope or something like that to be smoking weed with a chick. Like, at what point do people realize you're a dumbass? That doesn't make any sense. You're giving up all this money right now that benefits you later in your future for weed and alcohol. That doesn't make any sense. Put it down, bruh. Put the bl take the blunt out your mouth. Take it out. Just, yo, just go ahead and delete your per your bro, your whole Periscope account, and just sit the f down, Aldon Smith. Coming in at number four, Brock Osweiler. Those shades are shades that he actually walks around when he's on the field. I'm gonna tell you this right now. If the Houston Texans had any other quarterback, a Pee Wee football player, anybody else other than him as the quarterback when they played the Patriots, they would have beaten the Patriots in the playoffs. Because defensively, the Houston Texans are stout. Even without J.J. Smith, they were, listen, they were a force to be reckoned with. But this guy, even with, yo, how, how can you not find DeAndre, 
what is it, DeAndre Hopkins? How can you not find him? I don't know. Bro, the dude is always open, but you can't find him. But then you walking around with blinders on. And then now you got the nerve to be traded to the Browns just to go ruin that franchise. I don't really understand exactly what these NFL teams are doing and why they do it. But I can tell you this much. Hugh Jackson, he's going to be fired this year. Like, he's pretty much, he's already on it. One of his legs is already out the door. They're just having him to sit around for a little bit because he's definitely not going to be around much longer. This guy is one of the worst quarterbacks ever. And this is another thing that goes to show. You can be whatever you want in this world. Kids, adults, whatever, you, it's never too late. If Brock Osweiler can be paid to be a National Football League quarterback, you can do whatever you want in this world. Believe me, you've heard it here first if you never heard it before. Because this man stinks up the joint on a regular basis. And he's being paid millions of dollars to do that. I don't understand why it's happening. You guys maybe could tell me something. And last but not least, Geno Smith. This dude right here. You know what's funny about this? If he didn't get punched in his damn face and his jaw wasn't broke, I was very excited to see what would have happened uh, with his year coming into the season starting for the Jets. Not that uh, the Jets would have won any more games. You know what I'm saying? But just the fact that... This guy really said he was going to be someplace for charity, doesn't make it, and doesn't want to pay somebody. And then dudes think that just because you're in the NFL, things are sweet. Dudes come from the streets that are in the NFL. So if dudes say they're going to punch you in your face, and then I, the dude wasn't even making as much money as this. What I did, Listen, man, pay your debts. If you make an agreement and you're supposed to be somewhere, like Geno Smith has learned, and he will continue to learn, I think what he's like a backup on some other team right now, whatever he's doing, that was a very, very hard part of his life that he will forever understand and forever learn. He didn't press no charges, and the next day he was on Instagram showing his face and like, yo, it didn't really hurt. I just had to get a surgery real quick on my jaw. Regardless of what it is, the dude's a clown. And he also walks around with blinders on. The Jets either way are screwed. It doesn't really matter. It's neither, Whatever you guys want to think about it, I'm from New York. The Jets suck. It is what it is. At me, I'm right here. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like. I'm expecting at least 100 likes. If we get more, that's even better. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the top five Madden 18 rejected athlete cover photos. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter. Like me on Facebook. G Myers World. One love.